During times of celebration, friends and family often gather in our homes. At these times, it is easy to overlook potential hazards to your cat's health and safety. In order to prevent mishaps for your cuddly companions, it is important that you recognize these hidden dangers. Playing with ribbons, tinsel, and other decorations. Most cats enjoy playing with ribbons, string, and tinsel, especially if they are shiny or moving. Kittens and young cats tend to be more curious and playful and appear to see these items like toys that need to be chased, pounced upon, chewed, or swallowed. While chasing and pouncing are healthy physical activities for cats, chewing and swallowing ribbons, strings, or tinsel can be harmful. When swallowed, these linear foreign bodies can become entangled in the intestinal tract, leading to the bunching of the intestines as the body tries unsuccessfully to pass the string or ribbon. With each intestinal contraction, the rough or abrasive material rubs against the walls of the intestines, causing inflammation. Eventually, the material can even cut through the intestinal wall. This is a life-threatening emergency requiring surgical intervention. If you want to let your kitten play with string or ribbon, only allow it to play with the item while under your direct supervision. Better yet, do not even encourage this sort of play, use toys specifically designed for games of chase and pounce. Playing in the Christmas tree. Your curious cat can bring down the tree, so make sure it is set up securely and cannot fall if your cat decides to climb on board. Tree water can contain harmful fertilizers and or be a breeding ground for bacteria that cause stomach upset should your cat decide to sample this new water bowl. Chewing cords. Dangling cords of various types are tempting to cats that like to play with string, or kittens that are teething, and are interested in chewing. Cats have extremely sharp teeth that can easily penetrate the insulation around electric light cords or extension cords. If this happens, it could result in a severe burn to the tongue or an electrical shock that could damage the lungs or heart. This is an emergency requiring immediate veterinary attention. Candles in the holidays. As always, candles should never be left unattended, as cats can knock them over with a flick of their tailor burn themselves. Use battery-powered candles instead. Chocolate is poisonous to animals. Many people do not realize that chocolate can be a poison when eaten in large amounts, even to people. Chocolate contains a chemical called theobromine, which has caffeine-like activities. Theobromine is used medicinally as a diuretic, heart stimulant, blood vessel dilator, and smooth muscle relaxant. Unsweetened or baking chocolate contains a much higher amount of potentially toxic theobromine than milk chocolate, approximately 10 times the amount on average. For the average cat, weighing 11 pounds or 5 kilograms, the toxic amount of milk chocolate is approximately 11 ounces, but only 1 to 2 ounces, 1 to 2 squares, of baking chocolate or high-quality dark chocolate has the potential to be fatal. An 8-week-old kitten usually weighs 1 to 2 pounds and can be poisoned by only 1 ounce of milk chocolate. Clinical signs of chocolate poisoning include hyperexcitability, nervousness, vomiting, and diarrhea. In severe overdoses, the only symptom may be sudden death. Festive plants that are toxic to cats. Contrary to popular belief, the poinsettia is not specifically toxic, but can still cause intestinal upset. Poinsettia sap can be irritating to the mouth and stomach of the cat that chews on the leaves or stems of this festive plant. Some mistletoe species are toxic, causing liver failure or seizures, while other species are only irritating to the intestinal tract if ingested. The fact that there are several types of mistletoe makes it difficult to predict the clinical signs of poisoning with this popular holiday trimming. It is wise to consider mistletoe to be a hazardous substance and keep it out of reach of your pets. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Holly can cause gastrointestinal upset if ingested. All parts of many plants belonging to the lily family are highly toxic to cats. Because of this risk, it is best to prevent your cat or kitten from chewing on peace lilies, Christmas lilies, or other plants belonging to this family. Other seasonal plants that are toxic to cats include daffodils, narcissi, and spring bulbs that are commonly forced to bloom during the winter that brings a breath of springtime into our homes. Holiday dinners as a treat. We all like to include our pets in holiday meals along with the rest of the family but try to keep in mind that sudden rich diet changes are likely to upset your cat's stomach. Vomiting and diarrhea are common medical problems that veterinarians see during any holiday time, and especially between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. If you wish to feed your cat a special treat, give her only a small amount of lean meat. If you feed leftovers that contain a lot of fat, your cat's pancreas may become overworked and inflamed. 
This serious condition is known as pancreatitis and usually requires hospitalization and intensive medical treatment. Make sure that any string or packaging that was used during the preparation of roasts or turkeys is safely disposed of in a sealed garbage container. Most cats cannot resist digging these well-flavored items out of the trash and eating them, potentially causing an intestinal obstruction. It is a good idea to keep your pets out of the kitchen during the hustle and bustle of the season. The last thing you want is for them to get underfoot and get burned or otherwise injured. Cat hides from a company. Try to provide a quiet space away from the company where she can feel safe, but still has access to fresh water and a litter box, as well as some cozy blankets. Make sure to take time to play with her and or give extra cuddles during the holidays. There are a number of mild calming remedies such as Zilkine, L-theanine, brand name Anxetane, and fell away that can be used during the holidays to minimize your cat's anxiety. Ask your veterinarian for more information and if these would be suitable for your cat. By observing a few common sense guidelines, you can share a safe and healthy celebration with your cat and give thanks for the companionship you enjoy with your four-legged family members. Activities Having friends, family and other visitors crowding into your home for the holidays can overwhelm some cats. Fireworks and poppers can also cause cats a lot of stress. To ensure their mental and physical well-being, make sure there is a quiet, private room for your cats to stay in with their litter box, water, and food until the festivities are finished. Make sure your cats are microchipped. If your cat slips out the door and becomes lost when guests arrive, packages are delivered, or carolers stop by, a microchip can help ensure she can return home. Batteries are used to power many gifts from toys to watches, but they are corrosive if your pet eats them. Be careful not to drop batteries. If you're going away, have a cat sitter check in on your cats rather than bringing them with you or having them boarded. Cats will be far less stressed if they stay in their own home. Don't forget to take some time out of your holiday celebrations to play with and comfort your cat. You'll feel less stressed out, too. You can adopt for the holidays. As long as the receiver is aware of, prepared for, and wants the responsibilities of a new family member, there is nothing wrong with adopting a cat as a holiday gift. It is a great way to ensure cats and kittens do not have to remain in shelters, which are inherently stressful to them. Adoption is an incredible, rewarding, and life-saving experience, and there is nothing more exemplary of the holiday spirit. With these tips in mind, every member of your family can have a safe and happy holiday season. You can also help community cats remain safe and comfortable during the winter in frigid temperatures, snow, and other challenging conditions. Check out our winter weather tips to help community cats in your region. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.